Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome to my channel Sandy's Happy Plants. I make videos all about houseplants and houseplant care. And today I'll be talking about hydrogen peroxide and its benefits for houseplants. Yes, so just regular good old 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide solution. Almost everyone has this in their, home, in their homes. Uh, you can get it at grocery stores, everywhere, pharmacies. Um, it's a pretty widely used product. But did you know that you can also use it for houseplants? Yes. And I didn't even know about this um, till recently. Well, I've been using it for like about a year now, but I didn't know about this when I first got into houseplants. Um, and I don't think a lot of people know about it. So I figured let's make a little video about it and uh, tell you guys all the benefits that it has for houseplants. <music> So here's a fun little fact. Hydrogen peroxide actually occurs naturally in rainwater. Did you know that? Crazy, huh? It's actually like a natural fungicide and insect repellent and weed killer. Is nature amazing? Wow. <laughs> so anyways, we can recreate that in our homes with our houseplants to an extent. So what can we use hydrogen peroxide for on plants? Well, the first thing that we can use it for is uh, to prevent or to treat root rot. So root rot is one of those things that uh, some people get with their plants if they overwatered them too much, or sometimes if the soil, the potting medium is really compacted in the pot uh, and, and you're just you're watering it too much, then it just, the roots get all choked out and they start to rot and there's a fungi in there that kind of um, eats the, the roots and it, it kind of starts to rot in there. So root rot is a very common, common plant pro problem that a lot of people have and hydrogen peroxide can actually help with that. So obviously we want to prevent root rot from forming in the first place by planting our plants into a well draining um, potting mix and only watering it uh, when it's supposed to be watered, like not over watering it. Uh, do your research on your plant, uh, see how often it needs to be watered, uh, stick your finger and see if the soil is too wet. Uh, that kind of thing but you know sometimes it can happen so if you have a plant that already has a little bit of root rot let's say you kind of dig around in the soil a little bit or maybe you even pull the plant out a little bit and see uh, the roots are kind of black they're kind of mushy they kind of fall fall apart that's root rot so if you have a plant that um, can still be saved let's say this isn't it's not too bad it's just a little bit of root rot what you can do you can uh, mix uh, hydrogen peroxide, uh, 3%, 3%, 3 solution, uh, one part hydrogen peroxide to three parts water, and you want to water the plant with it. So water your plant with this mixture when the top part of the soil is dry and when the plant needs to be watered. And just be careful that you don't get it on your clothes because it will bleach your clothes because it has hydrogen peroxide in it. And I usually do this over the sink uh, and I just kind of hold the, the pot, like the under pot over the sink and I water it over the sink so that everything can drain out the bottom. Uh, or you can do it over a bucket or any kind of receptacle uh, so that you don't get the, the hydrogen peroxide mixture on anything. So yeah, let uh, everything drain out the bottom, out of the drainage holes. And that's also really important because you want to make sure that the plant has drainage. If it already has root rot, you don't want to leave it in a container that doesn't have any drainage because that will just make the root rot worse. So make sure that you have it in a container with drainage and just pour the mixture over the soil, saturate it really nice, let it drain out the bottom and then um, put it back into the overpot and then sit it down and wait, just monitor the plant, see how it's doing, and just don't water it again until the next time it's, uh, it gets dry to the first knuckle. And uh, that should clear it up. You might have to do it a couple times, but that should probably clear it up. So that method works when your soil isn't too compacted and it's still well draining. Um, but if, if your soil is really compacted, uh, and it's kind of like really hard in there, I would suggest aerating it first. So um, I usually do this with a spoon. You can use, I don't know, a fork or a spatula, 
<laughs> spatula, maybe not a spatula. <laughs> I usually use a spoon and I just kind of uh, dig around in the plant a little bit and uh, just to kind of get it nice and, and fluffy, get some air to the roots, basically aerate, aerate the soil. And then uh, do the same thing after that, like uh, water the plant with uh, the hydrogen peroxide mixture after you've aerated it. Because if you don't um, aerate the soil first, if it's really compacted, the hydrogen peroxide has a harder time to get to the roots. Um, and so it won't work as well. So I would suggest hydrate, uh, aerating the, the soil first. And you can aerate the soil if it's wet as well. Um, like I, I have done it, let's say you've overwatered something, you haven't been paying attention or the weather changed. You know, sometimes with the season change, we have to kind of accordingly change our watering schedule. Uh, sometimes you're not on top of it and you can overwater a plant and then it gets too wet in there and then it gets all compacted in there. Uh, so just like if it's still wet and, and you're, you're thinking you have root rot, okay, that's fine. Aerate the soil with a spoon while it's still wet. Make sure there's nothing sitting in, in the pot, like no water sitting in the pot. Dump any water that's in the over pot. If you have it in the over pot, dump any water, extra water out and then uh, aerate the soil with a spoon, all get like nice air to the roots in there, and then set it down, let it dry out for about a week or until it's dry, until it's dry to the first knuckle, and then go ahead and water it with the hydrogen peroxide mixture. So if your plant is very damaged and looks pretty bad, um, I would recommend taking the whole plant out of the pot, uh, throwing away the soil, uh, or disinfecting it later, but get rid of that soil, take the whole plant out, wash the roots underwater, cut off anything that's mushy and falling apart, anything that has rot on it. Um, and then what you can do is mix a solution of one part hydrogen peroxide to two parts of water and spray down the roots, the clean roots that you have just washed off, spray that down with that solution. Um, you can also dunk it um, in a container, like if you made the solution in a container, dunk the roots in there if you want, if you don't want to spray them. Again, be really careful that you don't get it on your clothes because it will bleach your clothes. Uh, maybe be careful with your skin too. Sometimes you can it can irritate your skin, so if you have sensitive skin. Uh, yeah, so then after you've done that, put your plant into a fresh pot with fresh potting mix, well-draining potting mix and uh, leave it. Don't water it for like a day and then the next day uh, water it and let all the water drain out the bottom and if you want to you can you can water it even with hydrogen peroxide and water mixture the one part to three parts water mix and then uh, just adopt a better watering schedule. Keep an eye on your plant see how it's doing um, hopefully it will it will save the plant. The cool thing about um, hydrogen peroxide is that it breaks down in the soil and it actually uh, creates more oxygen in the soil and it makes it makes your your root system stronger and be able to take up more oxygen, so to speak. And obviously it also kills the fungi that cause the root rot. So another use for hydrogen peroxide for plants is to disinfect your soil before planting plants into it. So I know sometimes you have some iffy looking soil, maybe it was outside for the summer or maybe you got it from somebody or or you bought some soil, that just looks a little bit weird, maybe it smells a little bit weird or you're just not sure about it and you just wanna make sure that there's nothing in it, no fungi, no pests, no pest eggs kind of thing. Um, so you can use hydrogen peroxide to disinfect the soil. Again, make a mix of a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution, one part, to two parts water and then put your soil that you want to disinfect into a uh, clean disinfected container um, with air hole, uh, drainage holes on the bottom and you basically pour that over top of the soil. Make sure the whole soil is sat saturated and just let it all drain out the bottom and then put it into another um, container so that you don't make a mess anywhere else and just do that about three times during a week. So do it for a week, three times during that week. Some people uh, like to use straight solution. So straight 3% solution, and they put it in a, a watertight container, 
where you don't have the drainage holes and you just pour this straight on top of the soil and just leave it for like a day and that will basically kill everything in it as well. Um, I like to use the other um, method. I think it's easier because I find it harder to strain out once the soil is saturated with uh, with the hydrogen peroxide solution. Also, I find that you use a lot more if you use it straight. So I like the version better where you mix it with, uh, so one part hydrogen peroxide for two parts water and just let it drain out, do it three times a week and that should clear everything up that's in the soil, might be in the soil. Okay, so another and very important useful application for hydrogen peroxide is pest control, yes. So hydrogen peroxide pretty much kills all sorts of uh, insects that might be on your house plants like uh, mealy bugs or aphids or flies or fungus gnats or thrips. Oh my God, thrips. No, I'm actually dealing with thrips right now. That's another video. <laughs> it actually kills their eggs, but it doesn't harm the plant, which is great. It also controls like mold, mildew and fungi. Uh, if there's like some sort of a mildew infestation, you can also use it for that. So basically you use the same method. You mix one part hydrogen peroxide, 3% solution to three parts regular water. And you just do the same thing. You, you pour it over the soil and do it when the soil is kind of dry, uh, like when the plant needs to be watered anyways. And uh, basically that kills like anything, any eggs, that might be in the soil. Um, if you have a really persistent infestation, like thrips for instance, hydrogen peroxide alone will not take care of that. You have to use something else like sticky traps because the adult thrips actually fly, so they will get stuck on the sticky traps, and as well as insecticidal soap. Uh, you can make a spray out of hydrogen peroxide as well, and with the same with the same mixture, so one to one part hydrogen peroxide to three parts water, and you can spray that. Uh, lightly mist it uh, on the whole plant, on all the leaves and stuff. Don't drench it and just let it air dry. And that will also kill most um, mold, mildew, uh, fungi, and also like little pesty, pesky little insects. Okay, so other than using it for pests and to kill things, you can also use hydrogen peroxide as a light fertilizer. And this could be like a fertilizer that you can use any anytime you water. And it's not like when I say fertilizer, it's actually not really a fertilizer. So it doesn't really add any uh, nutrients to your soil per se. But it's kind of like, uh, let's just say it's, it's like a soil amendment. Uh, not really either. It's, it's, but it works kind of like that. <laughs> bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying to explain it. Um, basically what it does, it, it adds more oxygen. When it breaks down in the soil, it adds more oxygen to the soil, thus making your root system stronger, thus making the plant healthier and grow faster. And that's why lots of people will call it a fertilizer, but it's actually not really a fertilizer. So to do this, you just add two to three teaspoons to four liters of water and you just water your plants with that mixture and you can use that every time you water it doesn't hurt your plant it doesn't do anything harmful it basically just simulates rainwater so your plant will just think that it's getting rain yay so with all these different uses of hydrogen peroxide for plants it's no wonder it's called medicine for plants and i am super glad i discovered it and i definitely use it as part of my plant care arsenal now and I'm probably gonna use it forever and I'm so glad I discovered it. And now you can experiment with it as well. So that's it for today. And I hope this helps you in your plant care journey. And like always, if you have any suggestions or comments or anything to add, leave it in the comment section below. And please give my video a like. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an episode. In the meantime, stay happy, stay healthy, enjoy your plants. See you next time. Bye.